5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the dark room. This is metallic paper, yeah. It's a little bit thicker than um, regular photo paper and um, it's supposed to last a little bit longer. This is a very complicated piece here. With These are bottles of chemistry. This is my favorite brand, which was just discontinued. This is High Breathe. Can you hold that up here? Yeah. Very nice. And this little pump goes out the window and it pumps in fresh air, but it's, there's like an open trench back here or an open ditch and it's green point, so the ground is toxic, so it's not like the best air, but it's better than being in here with a filter. It's nice, right? <laughs> I've been working on this series of uh, hand processed color work for the last two years. It has been really exciting. In this one, the green is making these reds and these reds are making the blues, essentially. So it's just amount, the amount of exposure and the colors that are kind of going to fall away and see what I mean. It was like this. At times it feels like really fully blossoming, you know, working on this, but it's also super toxic and uh, it's with materials that are pretty obsolete, which any minute could be discontinued. So, so this thing that I've been doing for the last two years, which has been really amazing to do, it's got to come to an end soon. of like leak coming from the window. Like a normal color photographer, dark room would be really bad because it'd screw up, it'd make weird shifting and stuff, but it doesn't, it's, I have found that it's, it's okay. Usually the work for me is like a problem solving set. And so the photography projects I do are, they're really all processes from within photography. If you're familiar with photography culture, it's very like, things are mounted this way. They're matted this way, you use chemistry this way at this temperature, and you like frame that you, you know, like, oh, so many rules. So it's really perfect for like a little poking. I like to take a system and then sort of bend the rules and change them and shake the system, uh, see like what the breaking points are and what the functional points are. Oh, this one's weird. <laughs> I wasn't moving it around, but this area got was in the chemicals. But the chemicals are dying, so maybe I should refresh them. Just trying to balance uh, being planned and being ready and then being aware of like the thing that happens. Um, I don't know how to say this. I think this 
journey you go on where like you make one move and then the materials make another move and then you make a move, but you're always sort of following the path that's given to you by the thing that you're working with. The stumbled upon fruit is always much better than if you had executed things perfectly. <laughs> I'm gonna watch them and hang them up, okay? I think it's dead. And I'm still, oh, desperately trying to hoard the last of my materials. If I had been born 15 years earlier, it wouldn't have been an issue because film would have been just standard. It's not tragic, it's kind of, I don't know, whatever. Sometimes I feel like, I'm out of control, like I won't have this forever, but you don't have anything forever, so just like make the most of it now while you have it. Who's gonna cut with this? 